There are no starving people in Armenia. Over half of young people are employed. All children attend general education schools. Professional education is accessible to all social groups. Quality health care is accessible both in urban and remote rural areas. This ideal picture is merely an optimistic scenario and the UN Millennium Development Goals, and there is only five years left for Armenia to achieve them. Ten years ago, in 2000, the UN adopted the Millennium Declaration. 189 member states, including Armenia, endorsed this document, and the Millennium Summit adopted eight important directions to change the world. The eight Millennium Development Goals were set. Eradication of extreme poverty and hunger, achievement of universal primary education, promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women, reduction of child mortality, improvement of maternal health, combating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases, ensuring environmental sustainability, and developing global partnership. The year 2015 was set as a deadline for achieving the Millennium Development Goals. The government of Armenia has adapted the global goals to the national context, and the UN system is providing support. In 2015, only less than 20% of the Armenian population will live in poverty, according to the national target set by the government. Currently, the population living in poverty is 23.5%. These development scenarios are put down in the National Progress Report concerning the Millennium Development Goals. The poverty level in Armenia in 2015 should be reduced to become lower than the 1990 level. <laughs> In 1999 through 2008, the poverty level was reduced at a faster rate in the capital, about threefold. Rural areas have been in a more advantageous situation than urban areas in Armenia, except Yerevan. The poverty level and the level of extreme poverty there are the lowest. Pombak village residents in the Gagarkunik region do not know much about economic growth and recession. Like years ago, now as well, they earn their living by toiling the land. They produce milk and eggs in their households. 200 families live in that village. Picking bolhi that grows in the mountains provides an additional income. It is at that time that economic growth is registered in the village. There are two more shops beside the one owned by Tsovinar. There is no competition though, since no payment is made in cash. A true picture of the economic situation of the village is presented not by the official documents, but by the list of people who bought goods on credit. According to the official data, the poverty level decreased and the life improved in the village. The office of the village head collaborates with international organizations. The village received new machinery, now they are not dependent on neighbors. Family allowances were among the most influential factors in poverty reduction both in rural and urban areas. According to the progress report on the Millennium Development Goals, in order to reach the poverty reduction targets, it is necessary that the crisis should not affect the amounts of social expenditures. The need for the family allowance is felt most acutely in small and medium-sized towns. They top the list in terms of the poverty level. The town of Charitsevan, which used to be one of the industrial centers, has become a town of mass unemployment. Finding a job in Char and Savan is a stroke of luck. Software developer Lily works in a photo studio. Even though her job has nothing to do with her profession, she is content. <laughs> I'm going 
of Gortune. Lilit is confident that poverty will not withdraw from Charad Savan until young persons like her brother and herself are given jobs. The main target for achieving this Millennium Development Goal is provision of employment. According to the National Report on the Millennium Development Goals, as a result of the global economic crisis, it will be difficult by 2015 to reduce the poverty level lower than the 1990 level and to decrease the proportion of people suffering from hunger in half. By 2015, the maternal mortality ratio will go down to less than 10 per 100,000 live births, according to the national target set by the government. As of 2007, this ratio was 26 per 100,000 live births. According to the report, this target is unlikely to be achieved. However, there has been good progress in the target of ensuring universal access to reproductive health service. Ka në patak vor marzajin bolor khoshor kentrolnere, kunenan aimpisi bush hastatutsunere, voronk irens vorakov chen zici mijazgain standardnerin. Obstetric institutions of high levels are concentrated in Yerevan. In the regions, only hospitals of the lower category are located. Baby-friendly, first category maternity hospital in Gumri has been provided with new equipment. The hospital changed beyond recognition after the renovations were made three years ago. The director himself exercises control over cleanliness and order in the hospital. <laughs> The hotline phone numbers are posted in all the rooms. Distant districts of the region are in the focus of attention. Pregnant women receive adequate examination and whenever necessary, they are taken to the central city of the region. Vanadzor no longer has a separate maternity hospital. There is merely one department for the entire city. Provision of obstetrical services takes place under inadequate conditions. There are too few rooms and beds. The staff has to add couches. <laughs> The further away we move from regional centers, the greater is the number of concerns. In the Yervan Dashat village in Aramavir region, antenatal care is provided to pregnant women, but no assistance can be given for delivery. In order to give birth to a child, pregnant women have to travel 40 kilometers away. Regardless of the conditions in a hospital, almost all expectant mothers receive antenatal care. As to that care, doctors consider as important the introduction of certificates entitling pregnant women to obstetrical care for free. In order to get that certificate, pregnant women have to visit a doctor on time and regularly. By 2015, the under 5 mortality rate should be less than 10 per 1,000 live births. Currently, under 5 mortality rate is 12.2 per 1,000 live births. One of the important factors for reducing child mortality is vaccination of children under two. Over 90% of children should be vaccinated against measles. The national immunization program is currently in place. There is a zero incidence of measles and rubella in our country. Since 2002, 
Armenia has been recognized as a poliomyelitis free country. Instances of diphtheria are virtually non-existent. In spite of the positive achievements recorded during recent years, infant and child mortality rates remain high, and the ambitious targets set by the Armenian government will require considerable efforts in implementing a targeted policy to improve the situation further. According to the National Report, it will be difficult to reach, by 2015, the targets set for the reduction of under five and infant mortality rates. At the same time, it is more realistic to achieve the target of 96 and more percent immunization rate in vaccinating children against measles. By 2015, gross enrollment ratio of children in basic education should reach 99.4%. Armenia is on track to achieve this target. However, problems related to relevance and quality of education still need to be addressed. All children in Lernagog village attend school. Three years ago, the physical plan of the school was renovated. After the renovations, a school building became more accessible even for children with disabilities. I think Esther Greta Amen Tesak Naravurutunen, Yev Dasi Patras Tvelu, Yev Idens Arujan Kazma Kirpelu. Buildings of general education schools in rural communities are for the most part in bad shape, as there are no running water, toilet facilities, and heating. Besides the bad conditions, another important problem for schools in rural communities is lack of teachers. This year, there will be two to four first grade students in the village of Pombok. They will have their classes together with second graders. Additional classes place an extra burden on low income families. In order to make it easier for those families, the education ministry opened high schools. In villages, this function is performed by secondary schools. Հոսքային ավագ դպրոցները տնտեսագիտական, հումանիտար, բնագիտական, արվեստաբանական եւ այլն հնարավորություն պետք է տան այս կամային երիտասարդի աշակերտի համար ստանալ նախամասնագիտական կրթություն։ 120 Armenian drums were allocated from the state budget for providing textbooks to children from socially vulnerable groups. The differences and inequalities between students from rich and poor families become more prominent in high schools. Զգացումա որ ներքևից էլ երեխան արդեն պատրաստ է այդ մտքին, որ միևնույն է ես ապագա չունեմ վերևներում։ The issue of rural schools is in focus of the government's attention. The pilot stage is currently in progress, which focuses on three priorities, quality, accessibility, and effectiveness. By 2015, the proportion of land area covered by forests will constitute more than 11%, and that of specially protected territories over 12%. Elevation of Lake Sevan has to reach over 1,903 meters above sea level. These targets are achievable. Currently, the proportion of specially protected territories is 10.6%, and elevation of Lake Sevan is 1,899 meters above sea level. Armenia is ceded to over 26 international conventions and environmental treaties. According to the already adopted forest strategy, the forested area should be increased to reach 20%. Tanur Armamp, Mot Yeresun Hazar, Avilkan Yeresun Hazar Hektari Vrai, Katarvelin, Antarvera Gangman Ashatankner. Also increased have been specially preserved territories, which are necessary for retaining biodiversity. Sixty percent of biodiversity of Armenia are located in the specially preserved territories. Lake Sevan, with its ecosystem, is a part of that ladder. Raising the water level of the lake is a top priority issue. At Nisha, Petke Hasni, Hazarina, Yere Kukes. Urema da ein Navazaguin Nishne, Voriceto, Petke Sksenderakan, Ait Popocutunere Lechum. Elevation of Lake Savon is not only a target in the Millennium Development Goals, but also a national dream, even though the preparatory activities were not done in a timely and sufficient manner. Now it's urgent to remove plants and reconstruct the roads which have remained underwater. 
Chura, Chura. Amina Karibura, Chura. The next target and the goal of ensuring environmental sustainability is to increase access to safe drinking water. By 2015, 95% of villages will have access to drinking water. In Karagert, the access to safe drinking water has always been precarious. The problem of drinking water has been on the agenda since the foundation of the village. It is two years already that drinking water is accessible in Yervan the Shot to all and at any time. With the UN support, the office of the village head has secured 24 hour water supply. <laughs> As to the progress report on the Millennium Development Goals, the probability of attaining increased access to safe drinking water in Armenia is assessed as high. As a co-signer of the Millennium Declaration, it is incumbent on Armenia to discharge each and every obligation, and it has already scored success in attaining the goals. The Millennium Development Goals are in line with the government's medium and long-term programs, the implementation of which is supported also by the UN Armenia Office. In the aftermath of the financial and economic crisis, the economic growth in the first half of 2010 lays the groundwork for successfully achieving the Millennium Development Goals in a timely manner. Armenia and the world today are doing everything to give a new quality to 2015 as a starting point of the new stage in history. <laughs>